Eating beans over meat could save the planet. A new study shows Americans should probably eat more beans than meat if the country wants to meet its emissions target. Cows emit methane due to a digestive process known as enteric fermentation. Most of the methane is released through belching, and only a small percentage is produced through flatulence. The massive amount of greenhouse gas produced by cows is comparable to the pollution produced by cars. Growing pulses is greatly beneficial to the environment, as they are able to directly draw nitrogen from the atmosphere and convert it into nutrients. This means a reduction in the amount of fossil fuels used to produce nitrogen to create these nutrients. It is also much more water efficient to grow pulses than to raise cattle. Beans also provide similar nutrients to the human body as beef, without the increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes, stroke, and colorectal cancer. Research shows changing the population's diet from beef to beans could help the U.S. meet its emissions target by 2020. Another study published in April recommended substituting meat with crickets and mealworms in order to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Would you give up your juicy steaks for beans and worms? Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more on how cows affect climate change and possible solutions. California introduces laws to restrict climate pollutants. The state of California has signed off on legislation to clamp down on greenhouse gas emissions, including black carbon from diesel trucks and methane gas from cow flatulence. Black carbon is a chemical emitted by diesel trucks that contributes to high rates of lung conditions, such as asthma. Under the new laws, black carbon emissions stemming from diesel trucks will be reduced by 50%. Dairy farmers have been instructed to reduce methane emissions from the state's 5.15 million cows by 40% by the year 2030. Farmers will receive funding from the state to invest in methane digesters, which will convert the pollutants from manure into energy that will be sold to electrical utilities. Opponents of the new laws argue that these reductions will hurt manufacturing in California and could force the industries out of state, with thousands of jobs threatened in the process. However, California Governor Jerry Brown insists these firm mandates will result in the development of better technologies and a boost for the economy. U.S. unlikely to meet Paris climate agreement targets. A recent study revealed that the U.S. is highly unlikely to fulfill its greenhouse gas emission targets set at the Paris climate talks last year. The U.S. has pledged to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 28 percent from 2005 to 2025. However, Ares Technica reports current and proposed emissions policies would still only reduce the rate by about 4.8 percent. A report published in Nature Climate Change suggests the U.S. needs to phase out coal and natural gas power plants more aggressively and increase the use of renewable energy and electric cars. The report also suggests the U.S. transform oil and gas-based heating systems to electric systems in order to attain its emissions goals. U.N. studies estimate average world temperatures are expected to rise by 3 degrees Celsius or more by 2100. U.S. President Barack Obama called Wednesday a historic day when a global agreement to combat climate change was signed by European nations such as Germany, France, and Austria. The agreement will formally start on November 4th. Netherlands set to spend 150 million euros on biogas production. The Netherlands has found a use for their cows other than pumping milk, turning their manure into energy. Manure processing is important to the Netherlands, as about 10% of the country's greenhouse gas emissions come from agriculture, mostly methane from animal manure. The International Dairy Federation says the nation's livestock produces about 74 million tons of manure a year, which is too much to be directly applied to farmland as fertilizer. The excessive amount of nutrients could leak into underground water, resulting in algae growth and pollution to nearby water sources. To solve this problem, officials have implemented an experiment at one farm. Cow manure is put through an anaerobic digester, where exposure to bacteria transforms solid manure into liquid form. The resulting substance then releases biogas that is made mostly of methane and carbon dioxide. The biogas can be used as fuel, while any leftover manure can be used as fertilizer. 
This experiment reportedly generated 9,342 kilowatt hours of electricity in 20 days, which is enough to power three homes for a year. The Dutch government has committed to investing 150 million euros to the biogas program, which aims to get a thousand large farms across the country to produce energy from cow manure within four years. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Reducing carbon emissions could prevent more than 295,000 deaths in the U.S. The gradual effects of global warming have mostly failed to motivate many into making life-altering changes in the here and now. But what if we told you there's evidence that acting now might eliminate some pretty dire short-term consequences of climate change? According to a team of researchers from Duke University and the NASA Goddard Institute for Space Studies, slashing carbon emissions won't just reduce global warming, it could also prevent tens of thousands of premature deaths. A two degrees Celsius increase in atmospheric warming is usually considered the threshold at which the changes wrought by climate change, such as drought, flooding, declining fish populations, and the spread of tropical diseases, will become more than humans can handle. The two largest sources responsible for climate change in the United States are the transportation and energy sectors. In a research paper published in the journal Nature, researchers modeled what would happen if emissions in both sectors were significantly reduced by 2030. The study showed reduced emissions in both sectors would be enough to put the U.S. on the path of staying under the 2 degrees Celsius threshold. By 2030, under this cleaner energy scenario, as many as 175,000 premature deaths would be prevented in the U.S. and another 22,000 lives saved every year after. Under a cleaner transportation scenario, as many as 120,000 premature deaths in the U.S. were averted, with another 14,000 people saved each following year. The nationwide health benefits of reducing carbon emissions would total around $250 billion a year, which far exceeds the cost of implementing new, cleaner policies.